Today I'm going to show you how to send a certified letter. These are really important for businesses because they allow you to track that you have sent letters and that you have received them and you're able to document them uh, for future reference. So first you're going to get Form 3800. It looks like this. On the left side you have a barcode and a number that they use to track the letter. And on the right side they use it as a receipt so that you have proof that you sent the letter. You're also going to get Form 3811 from the post office. Um, on one side, you put the postage information of the person you're sending it to, and on the other side, you put your postage information. This form serves as a receipt upon delivery. Um, the person you send it to will sign it, and they will send it back to you so that you can later document that it had been received. So first, you're going to fill out the forms. Um, to fill out Form 3800, you're down here, you're going to put the name of the person you are sending the letter to and their address. And to fill out Form 3811, on the open side, you will put your name and your address in this box. And on the other side, under the box marked 1, you will again put the postage information to the person that you are sending the letter to. And in under number 3, you will check the box that says Certified Mail. So the next thing you're going to do is attach the forms to the envelope of the letter you're sending. First, you're going to detach the left side of Form 3800 from the right side. There's a little dotted line here where you can do that. And then you're going to take the sticker on the far left side of that barcode and you're going to stick it on Form 3811 under the box marked article number right here. Once you do that, you'll peel off the rest of the barcode and you're going to stick it on the back side of the envelope. Um, you're going to want to get this dotted line as close to the top of the letter as you can and then you're going to fold it over. Also remember to leave proper room so that the post office can put postage on the envelope. And then you're going to take Form 3811. There's adhesive strips on both sides and you're going to peel those off and you're just going to attach it to the other side of the envelope. Um, here you can see where Form 3800 was folded over. Once you take your uh, letter to the post office, they will provide you with a receipt. They will run the right side of Form 3800 through a little machine and it will watermark it with a date you have sent it and proof that it has been sent. And um, after the letter is received, the person will sign Form 3811 and it will be sent back to you. Once you have both of these, you can archive them however you feel, and then you will have proof that you sent your letter and that it was received.